Oppo are back with their Reno 4 range of smartphones and I've been using this, the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G for just over a week and a half now. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about this device. Is it just another hype smartphone or is there more that the Reno 4 Pro 5G has to offer? Let's find out here on MQAN Reviews. Before I get into the rest of the video, be sure to help this channel out by hitting subscribe down below. I'm trying to get this channel to 200,000 subscribers. I would appreciate your help if you hit that subscribe button. Let's get on with the video. So I can't get into the video without talking about the incredible unboxing experience. This box was sent out to media and partners, but inside you're going to find the final retail version. Uh, you get the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G, but also included are a pair of Oppo wireless Enco W51 headphones as well. Now as far as the final retail version, this is what it looks like and you can pull off the sleeve to get to the box inside. Once you pull off the lid, you're going to get a little box that houses in it some information including warranty, SIM ejector tool and it's nice to see Oppo have also included a free see-through silicon case just to protect your device. Now as well as that you're going to get the device itself but we also get a VOC 2.0 fast charger as well. With that we get a wired USB-A to USB-C cable to use with that charger and we also get a pair of USB-C in-ear headphones. Now taking the plastic off the device, you'll notice in the hand that the Oppo Reno 4 Pro feels incredibly premium. It's got this really, really nice etched kind of Oppo branding on the back. This particular color is the space black color and I really love how the light reflects it so well. It just adds a bit of character and feature to this device. Now taking a quick look around the device, down at the bottom you have the SIM tray next to the USB-C port and the speaker. The left hand side has the volume rocker, the right hand side has the power button with the uh, green indent and the top is pretty much flush. Now on the back you have a triple camera which I will talk more about later on in the video but you have this Gorilla Glass 6 both on the back and the front and as far as the front is concerned you have this beautiful AMOLED display it's a 6.55 inch display 1080 by 2400 pixels and it is a stunning in different lighting it looks and feels very very good now this does curve over slightly but in the hand the overall smartphone does feel quite comfortable despite that curved display it does support HDR 10 plus so it means that media you know images that support that are going to look really really good on that display as well as that it has a 90 hertz refresh rate which you can tone down in the settings to 60 hertz or stick to auto but for the purposes of my time with the Oppo Reno 4 I've stuck to 90 hertz and it looks and feels incredibly smooth and fluid when you're using it and under that display you also have an optical fingerprint scanner which is pretty easy to set up it does work majority of the time, but if you don't want to go with that option, you can always activate the front-facing camera to work with face unlock system. The Oppo Reno4 Pro 5G is powered internally by Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset. This is a 7 nanometer chipset, which is essentially 5G ready. And this is paired up with the Adreno 620 for the GPU. Now, as far as RAM, my particular model came with 12 gigabytes of RAM paired up with 256 gigabytes of storage although this is available as an 8 gigabyte ram variation with 128 gigabytes of storage i think most people will be more than happy with 8 gigabytes but if you want to bump it up for more performance particularly with graphic intensive gaming multitasking 4k then 12 gigabytes of ram is certainly worth considering particularly at this price point now as far as os is concerned it's powered by android 10 and it has Oppo's own OS, which is Color OS 7, 7.2 to be specific. And I think most people will be more than happy with this skin on top of Android. Yes, it's not the fluid stock like Android experience, but then it doesn't really have any issues with it per se. And there are a ton of customizations, including themes and other controls that you have with Color OS 7. Now sticking to internals, it does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery 
The battery life here is interesting because in my testing, I found that the battery life really didn't survive as well as I expected it to do, but that's probably because I'm a heavy user. I think most people might get about a day, day and a half with medium use, but if you're a more intensive user, particularly around gaming, then you will notice a dip in the battery life. However, that VOC 2.0 charger is going to work wonders. In terms of charging from like zero to 100%, I was getting that in around about 37 to about 42 minutes, which is incredible and that means that you know when you do need to top up in terms of battery use there should be no problem now one of the big highlights on the oppo reno 4 pro 5g is on the reverse with the triple camera setup so it's made up essentially of a 48 megapixel f 1.7 with laser autofocus and optical image stabilization and that's paired up with a 13 megapixel f 2.4 telephoto with two times optical zoom and then the third camera is a 12 megapixel f2.2 for the ultra wide and that is also the dedicated video camera as well now overall as far as the image quality is concerned sticking to that first you'll notice from these examples that the oppo reno 4 pro 5g does an incredibly good job throughout in normal conditions everything from the ultra wide to the maximum zoom is actually really good in terms of color accuracy vibrancy dynamic range and I think most people are going to be pleasantly surprised with the quality of images that you can take with the Oppo Reno4 Pro 5G. Now, as far as the uh, telephoto lens is concerned, it supports five times hybrid optical zoom and then up to 20 times digital zoom. There is some noise at that ma maximum zoom focal length, but for the most part, it still does a good job. Now, for me, the big standout on the camera capabilities came in low light conditions both with images and video but in low light you have an ultra night mode that really does enhance both the image quality and the video capabilities and as you can see from some of these examples here it does a very very good job throughout now as well as this video has been significantly improved and again in low light video quality will certainly be noticeable there's a change to the overall video algorithm that means that you're gonna have the video brightness bumped up in lower conditions by up to 75 percent and the end result is as you can see again from this example putting it side by side you're gonna get an overall much more natural and better looking video quality at night. And I think most people are gonna be very, very pleasantly surprised. Now sticking to video on the Oppo Reno4 Pro 5G, you also have something called Ultra Steady Video 3.0. And this reduces blur around moving images. And I'm gonna give you some examples of how that performs in this upcoming clip. All right guys, so this is what 4K looks like on the Reno4 Pro 5G. So I am currently filming in 4K. And this is standard in terms of stabilization. So as I walk around, this will give you an idea of how it performs with stability. Now, what I want to also demonstrate is what ultra stable video looks like as well. So let's show you what that looks like right now. So this now is ultra stable video. And as I pan around, you should be able to see a difference. Seems to do a much more better job visually of stability. There is a little distortion in the middle of the uh, video footage, but it's still, I think, doing an all-round better job. Check that out. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the video. As far as the front facing camera is concerned, you have a 32 megapixel shooter with an f2.4. It's pretty reasonable for front facing selfie portraits and you get a ton of different edit customizations as well. But as far as video is concerned, that front facing camera does lack when it comes to quality. If you compare it with the main camera setup, it does record a maximum of 1080p and it just lacks the stabilization that we found on the main camera sensor. But I think in most cases and for most people's needs, that front facing camera will be pretty reasonable. So in summary, I mean, I've been very impressed with the Oppo Reno4 Pro 5G. It's Oppo doing what Oppo does best, packing in incredibly good specs in hardware and selling it for a very good asking price. And the Reno4 Pro 5G is no different to that formula. In this device, I've been most impressed with that display, 
but I think the standout is certainly the rear triple camera setup, particularly in low light and when it comes to video, I've been incredibly impressed. Now, as far as asking price is concerned, this is now available to pre-order. You can check out the links down below in the description, but let me know what you think about the Reno 4 Pro 5G. What are you most excited about in terms of features? Let me know in the comment section down below. Plus, as I mentioned in the intro, if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit like to see more video content like this, and follow me over on Instagram as well. That's it from me for now. I will see you in the next video here on MQAN Reviews. Until then, stay safe, peace, and blessings.